for another episode to bore you to death with more of our garbage. Keep sharing with your friends because That's you want right. to bore them too. That's right. That's right. Annoy your friends. Annoy your parents. Show it to everyone. Today. And cast it to your television while your parents are eating dinner. <laughs> exactly. They'll love us. They'll love us. Except our audience, like, their parents are dead. <laughs> turn, off, turn off that Tony Hawk documentary. Yeah. Watch us. The wheels uh, fell off. Shit. <laughs> I've kicked her part. Our wheels are falling off every yeah, few minutes. Years ago. <laughs> Uh, today hey. we're gonna talk about a little bit flashback. Look, look, Jay's got his notes up. We're gonna do a little flashback to the yeah. '70s, to the '70s in Knoxville, and to the '70s in general. Uh, we bought some magazines. Oh, look, this is from the '70s. This this magazine's older than most of you. <laughs> Wait, this is September '82 yeah. version yeah. of of uh, Thrasher. Yeah. So not quite the '70s, yeah. but but we're gonna we're so we've got a video here. Very, very rare of when uh, the Freeformer team. Look it up, kids. There was actually there was actually a skateboard <laughs> company Formers. called Freeformer. They sold plastic boards. They sold wooden boards. And two of their biggest pros were Ty Page and at the time Russ Howell. And Ty they, Page, they, he really they came legit, to dude. Westtown Mall Mr. and Incredible. rode. And JD was there. I was and there. This is video from that. Not the horses. <laughs> So well, that was back when the movie theater used to sit out in the parking lot at West Town. Yeah. There we go. Woo -woo. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Hippie jumps, 360s. This is on like high eight or something? What is this? Eight I don't know. It's I, I had to call Russ to get it, and uh, he was nice enough to send it to me. So evidently, the best I can remember, I think that like JCPenney sold Freeformer boards. Yeah, probably. And they, they had, had a sporting goods They section. had a sporting goods section, so they had evidently had the Freeformer team to come in and do a demo at outside of JC Penney's. Actually, so, uh, I was talking fantastic. to Trey about this last night. And Trey he, was there, yeah. Yeah. He said that this was on the JC Penney side and uh that Hobie team the next year did one on the Sears side. Right, yeah. Look at that. Sears, Double board handstand. Well, because Sears sold skateboards as well. They yeah. had a sporting exactly. Good team. Exactly. And actually, Sears actually had a pretty big uh, and I think double board yeah. that was quad board <laughs> handstand. And I and I think that the when the Hobie team come, I think that's when they jumped the the Spitfire. They did the hippie oh, jump. Oh, right, The hippie right, jump over right, the Spitfire. Right. Nice. So, but this Man. was... Dude, skateboarding demos used to be so performance-oriented. Well, it was the 70s, man. This is all Charlie's Angels stuff, man. This is this is <laughs> what it was all about. this guy put on a show, Woo! man. Yeah. Oh, Russ Howell's the He's, ultimate showman. He can he, still... <laughs> uh, he wasn't quite the same as uh, yeah. Russ. Yeah, did you see that? Russ is Russ was Russ was, and he's still around, and he's still. I uh, he just uh, turned like seventy six the other day or something. He really? did seventy six three sixties in on a row. Seventy sixth yeah. birthday. Wow. He does he does his mini three sixties on his birthday as he's seventy six something like yeah. that. Yeah, Fuck. there's the AP. Yeah, look at that. Oh, remember the AMP bank? <laughs> yeah. I used to skate the shit out of the AMP bank. But there's, there's, I was thinking there was something in here that like, there's a ditch actually right across from that that we were skating. I always thought we went to Wallows after the demo, but we actually went to the ditch right like when you turn to go to Target. There's actually a ditch that's growing oh, up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and so, yeah off of Ray Mears there. Yeah, Ray yeah, Mears. Yeah, yeah. It sits on the left the hand AMP side. Because the a bank is there, and then the, the ditch was on the other side of the street from A&P. Right. I never yeah. saw that. Oh, yeah. when I die, won't you bury me in the parking lot oh, of the A&P? I don't need no stone, just the parking place with yellow lines to mark my place. Everybody sing, when I die, won't you bury me? And for the local <laughs> A and P, there, there's your musical entertainment. We've got it all here. We've got oh discussion. We've got talk. We've got videos, and we have a uh, a, a musical interlude as well. <laughs> but that, I mean, that was a big. I, I think I was like six or seven years old when they came. Damn. And I mean, that was a big deal to go see. You know, you, you used to be that young. I don't know what happened. I used to be good looking too, but I got ugly. But I mean, there was you know there wasn't a ton of people there, but there was quite a few people, and uh, you know yeah. it was it was just a mind blowing. Well, I experience. think they came through Nashville too. I was I I never I didn't see them, but uh, you know I wasn't living up here at the time. 
But JD is like, man, I, I so, never stop in skateboarding. No, yeah. I was like, I was like, I want to do that, but I never could. Couldn't. Yeah, yeah. You wanted I, to have that long flowing hair and that big Brussels mustache. Well, like I a, had the mustache like one a, time, but yeah. the, oh, the three pictures. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the three sixties never got there. Maybe two. Yeah, yeah. I, that's about as far as I can yeah. go with three sixties. I used to, man, well. especially when it rained. I used to sit in the parking garage down from the elementary school from my house and just. Try to spin all the uh, It's it's hard. It's a it's a it's definitely front side a, then back side. It's definitely side a, it's definitely side. a skill. So, continuing with our seventies theme, I've got another video here of the original, very first half pipe. Really, Bunny, can you cue that up? Yeah. This this half pipe was in Skateboarder magazine okay. back in the day. I didn't have enough time to actually look up the original Skateboarder magazine, no but this was on the day, news. No flat really? And uh, in Encinitas, uh, California. Wow. And this was, I remember. Oh, a sex yeah. chain. Yeah. yeah. It was a sex chain. Yeah. yeah. I remember when this came out, they had a big article about it in Skateboarder magazine. And immediately after that, it was like, we're building a half pipe. I, I went and they had plans for this. And I immediately went and built a quarter pipe in my backyard. And me and my friend Wendell Elrod immediately went and built one just like this, a little bit smaller. So at in what his point backyard. did somebody go, you know what? We need like right. eight or ten feet of flat bottom. Uh, <laughs> I that think took that, a while. That, 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 was, deck, that was a that was a few years later. Well, no one was doing well, tricks on well, the top. Well, I mean, the rash thing you could do back then was a three wheeler. What do you uh, need a deck for a three wheeler? Pepsi had the the fiberglass one that they right, toured right, around right. with. And it was a flat bottomless. I mean, we we built one too. That probably the same out of the skateboard magazine, the same way, and yep. it, it lasted a month. And we decided we just made you know a quarter pipe with a bank, right? You know, right, because right, there was right. I mean, it's like this is not you know it was dizzy. It was hard and, to ride. Yeah, you got dizzy, and it just it you was know. hard to ride. And it was called the Rampage. Yeah, and but this was you know this was before any of that other stuff yeah. happened. Which Kick is turning was what you, you know, were doing. It was well, which was dude, amazing. The sex change was pretty fucking rad. Well, you know, if you, man. it's called a half pipe, you know, because if you put it on the Half One on top of the other. It's a I full thought pipe. it was a half pack. Well, it is if you're from West or <laughs> South Knoxville. Half packing. Exactly. We're going half packing. Exactly. But so there, you know, that is how you know a lot of this got started. It started in pools. They were surfers. They went to pools. Well, and it was like and hey. all that shit got shut down, and you had to do something. And you know what? Hey. In the in the little interview they have there, they go, and they built this in their backyard and it cost them two hundred and fifty dollars worth of wood. Good lord! That was two hundred. <laughs> you know that would be like four thousand, eight thousand yeah. dollars worth of yeah. wood these days. So going back to our little seventies theme here, I was just looking through this old skateboarder magazine, uh, which I, uh, the cover has fallen off of a long time ago. But um, Bunny, you might want to zoom in on some of this stuff here. I was looking at a couple of things here. The centerfold was always my favorite. Yeah, well, nah, the, the centerfold was always a poster. Uh, you know. and, uh, of not only Skateboarder magazine, but many, many magazines. <laughs> um, but uh, there was a really Isn't good a song about. There's a know, there's a there's a, a there's a thing here with a, a, a different skateboard parks. I was like, look at this right here. Ooh, oh, that. we're gonna have to turn off the ah! green screen. Oh, look at that. See that right there? You know who that is? Who that little cute That's kid Eric is? Dressen. That's Eric Dressen. Eric the Dressen. oldest pro. Yes. The oldest pro. The oldest pro. Look and there he him. is, his little tiny kid, that, way back in the day. That is he, amazing. He still kills awesome? it. Yeah, he still rips. Look at him. I think yeah. he was like seven years old or something. With, yeah. his, with his volleyball pads on. Yeah, oh, isn't that yeah. awesome? That's amazing. Yeah, Where, where was that some, at? Skater Car? Uh, that was at Fontana uh, Village. Uh, uh, Alameda Skate Park. Huh. In California, but I was trying to find groundswell. They've look got some Florida. That. They've got some oh, Florida man. parks in here. Dude, look you at know? that big wave. That's a big concrete wave. You know these things look good in the pictures, but they were awful yeah, wavy, and and bumpy. Yeah. You yeah. know. Well, that's like the the J Bowl at Kona. Oh whatever. god, yeah. Right. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> and that's what I was looking for. I mean, for. when you walk up to it, you're like, man, that thing's awesome until yeah. you drop in. <laughs> and look here, here we go. This is nice. Female skaters, even back then, Jana Payne. Oh, yeah. Ripping it up. She's doing a little lip slide there. She's three wheeling it. Dude. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that rad? She has a killer three wheel. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We need more female skaters. Uh, well, they're getting. Hey, I got my Chris, skates. Chris we Stropel. Go. Here's a, here's a Stropel. Who's Hot from Chris Stropel. Yeah. 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 Who's Hot sex. Man. Man. You know, this was always one of my favorites. I always wanted to have a Who's Hot. <laughs> You know? Did you ever make it? No, nah, I never made it. I made it into who's not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. And to top out part of our 70s episode here. Rick Blackheart. Rick Blackheart, who's got a who's hot. Who 18, still rips. And I have a little video here 
of him skating a full pipe, not this full pipe, oh. but a different one. Bunny, if you can cue up that Pippa Grande. So this apparently is a pipe. I'm, I'm think it's down in Mexico somewhere. I don't think this is in the U.S. So this is '89. Yeah, and there's Rick Blackheart going, going crazy. Nuts. Yeah, but they're on their way. This big, huge. Uh, wow! This, this is just, and you can actually drive your car all the way up into this pipe, which is just insanely nuts. Uh, wow! Dude, is this still available? I think it may be. I think I've looked it up on uh, Google Maps before. So you just gotta like get into Tijuana. Yes, yeah. I'm. It's. I. I think I've looked it up on Google Maps and it's still there, wow. and it's just nuts. Man. Uh, Look, there's that's not even a, any graffiti in it. Yet. Yeah, it's a huge pipe, and it's look. You can see the end of it. That's fucking killer, dude. What about this? Like, these guys are all like, it's oh one of those. It's one of those elbows. It's got a glory hole at the top, and it comes down, and it's one of those elbow pipes. I guess you can't get, get into Mexico too easy, or this would be in more magazines or something. Yeah. Man. So, so I, I, I think it, I think it was for several for years, and I don't think it. I, I it must have become a super huge bust or something. Wow. Gosh. Well, yeah, I was gonna say down. though, you end up in Mexican yeah. prison. But check this out. So they drove their, they drove their forerunner all the way up, and it's like, oh, let's just go on up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, now that's yeah. These guys, wow. are, these guys are having some fun. I wonder if there yeah. was any beer involved. I <laughs> doubt it. Yeah. <laughs> and apparently, you know, yeah. see, look at those skid yeah. marks. <laughs> Yeah, I think these guys were having a little bit of fun. So where in the heck this. did you find this video? Uh, I think Rick Blockhart must have posted, posted it, it on Facebook, and then I pulled it down and made a copy of wow. it because I knew it would be great. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> now, can you be in that? Can you imagine being in that thing going? Is it going to flip over backwards? How, <laughs> how high can we go before? You know, let's get a, we get a we die. Yeah, let's get a start. running start at let's it. Let's get a yeah. running start. <laughs> exactly. We're gonna jump it into the water. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Put your seatbelt on, boys. So is there any skateboarding in there? Uh there is a little bit here well, in a they, second. They made it pretty Wow! Good. Wow! Yeah. No, it, 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 it's like a hundred feet up, I think. I think it goes way, way up. I mean straight vertical pipe. I may be wrong. I don't know. I've never been there. But it looked like the lip of it right there. They made it almost to the top. Yeah. They oh, well, maybe so. Wow. You can see their tire tracks go all the way up to yeah, the top. Yeah, yeah. So they got dried out now. Here uh, we go. Yeah. No, oh! Drop in from the top, you can get and look, look way up in there. look how big that thing is. Yes. Yeah. That's about the size of the one in Louisville. Uh, at least. 36, yeah. 40 feet. Yeah. <laughs> no, 40 feet. <laughs> well, uh, well, the one at Louisville is like 36. No, no, no. The one at Louisville is like 20 feet. No, it's bigger than it's that. Ten, it's 10. It's bigger double than 10. 10. So, oh, this, no. so this is 79, you said, or 89? Uh, 89. 89. Oh, I, that looked like they were riding pigs, but God, look at that. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Dude, he was at 10 o'clock. Yeah, so that's was, a, he that's, was way up So if you, if you look, you know, where the vert line would be, yeah. that's probably a 12-foot transition, yeah. which makes it a 24-foot. Or uh, maybe a little bit, but 13, which would make it a 26 yeah. foot. The one at Louisville is probably. So maybe probably, it was like 26 feet. Yeah, the yeah. one at Louisville is Not probably. 36, like no, yeah, uh, if that. I, I don't know. I've been up in that thing and it's fucking massive. Yeah. yeah I take photos of myself from Louisville, turn them upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Photoshop it. <laughs> Flip yourself around. Dude, I've got a picture of me front siding in the, the new yeah. Louisville pipe at every bit of 930. Yeah. Man. But uh, no, uh, actually, I was talking to, uh, I had a. Yeah. Rick Blackheart was one one of those Zoom calls where they had all the pros on yeah, it yeah. Uh, here during back during uh, the COVID outbreak. And he was, I had a full pipe in the background was Baldy. And he was like, what's that pipe? And I said, Baldy. And he started asking me about the Louisville full pipe. And he said, no, it's. It's smaller than that. He he knows his. Yeah. He knows about you know. His he pipe, was, yeah. yeah, he knows. He wow. was like, no, 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 no. You so know. what was the old upland pipe? Uh, probably a twenty-two. What I really liked about it is how it had the big vert wall that you could fly out of it. Right, the vert wall. right, right, right. I think I think upland may have been a twenty-two, something like There's that. There's so many good yeah. trans world and skate thrasher mag photo photos from the eighties of it. Ooh, somebody just ate shit. <laughs> but, uh, they're just dorking around up. But the was top it of wasn't thing. a? Who was talking about that the other day? Was it? It was Salva talking about how hard Upland was to skate. 
And he, he did a whole interview. He's like, man, that place would break you off. He's oh, like, yeah, yeah. Ask Chris you know. Miller. Yeah, well, yeah. he said, he said oh, they yeah. thought Chris Miller's was bad. He said he had like 29 stitches or something. Yeah, I heard about that. From the Hester series. Yeah. He said, he, th he said, everybody thought Miller's was bad, but that was, they well, were more Well, uh, only because Miller's was on video. Yeah, his, the, but back in 79 or 80, yeah. when he ate, ate it, there wasn't any of that video of him just killing himself. Right, you know? right, you know? right. So he was like, exactly. man, he's like, people hated to come and skate Upland. He's like, it was so hard to skate. Yeah. So, man, you know, I, I've been to Baldy. Baldy's a small pipe. Baldy's like, I don't know, Baldy's only like 18. Yeah. It's pretty yeah. small Well, pipe. Eight, 8 and 8, 16, 8 You know, the newer skate park pipes are poured well. Yeah. You know, like There's the, no kinks it, the, or, yeah. the Fontana one or where it was in California. They oh, had yeah. the massive one. Because Baldy, is, so well Baldy that, is like rough in the bottom. They, bump, bump, yeah. They, yeah, bump. they meshed it up. So, anyways, there's a little bit of 70s footage <laughs> and a little bit of thrown in 80s footage, but it was the 70s skater, Rick Blackheart. <laughs> so, you know, there's a little bit of 70s stuff before these guys were born. Or, or well, wait a minute. Now, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> hold on. I was born in the 60s. <laughs> so, kind of. But, uh, <laughs> there, kind of, as yep. Doug Walker would say. There's a little flashback. So, we just wanted to show you a little bit of what went on before all this skate park stuff and all the other stuff that started happening. So, there you go. Sounds good. Anybody? Anybody? What I'm, say something, say something. I mean, you gotta realize what, <laughs> you gotta realize what these guys were skating on. Five and a half six little tiny, boards. Little tiny wooden boards. Little and trucks. On shitty, unskilled poured right, concrete. Right, exactly. You know. The show is over. Yeah. So, there you <laughs> have it. We have we're still talking. Together. Did you cut it off already? Just a da, 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 <laughs> for sing a song. Seems like we just get started, and before you know it, comes a time we have to say so long. So long, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for coming to my kid turn party. <laughs> Woo! Well, hell, everybody's going to hang out here tonight. All right. We'll pass out in the flat. All right. Tonight. We got nothing better to do. Take six runs, drink a dozen brews.